Hi, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing my November favorites. Because I've never done a favorites video before, I decided to make this more of a lifetime favorites video for you. These are the products that I can't live without. The ones that always stick around in my collection. Even if I try something new, I always revert back to these ones. So, if you want to see what my favorite products are, just keep watching. My first favorite is the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. Sigma has a lot of different brushes, but I really like the flat top best for blending in my foundation and really giving it that airbrushed look. I've tried all of them, but this is the one that I go to the most. It's the one that I would recommend to someone else. The downside of Sigma is that you can't buy it in a store, you have to order it online, but they're significantly cheaper than other makeup brushes. So the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. My next favorite is the Beauty Blender. I always use the Beauty Blender to blend in my concealer, and also if I put any cream or liquid highlight on, I blend it out that way. You can also use the Beauty Blender for foundation, but it does take a little bit more time, so I prefer to use a foundation brush for foundation, but the Beauty Blender is definitely my go-to for concealer. My next favorite is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I use it in NW15. That's the lightest shade that MAC goes to in the concealers. I think I've tried every single one of their concealers. This one is my favorite to conceal the dark circles under the eyes, and if you like to use a concealer as an eye primer, then this one is also the best to prime your eyes with. And then my next favorite is the Pro Longwear Foundation, from, also from MAC. This one I use in NW13. This foundation stays all day long. You can put it on in the morning and at the end of the day, your foundation will still be sitting there and still be looking perfect. I've also tried, I think, every foundation from MAC. I used to find that my foundation would go away in this area and this area. And with the combination of a primer and also this foundation, I find that this is the one that lasts all day. The number one thing I would say about foundation though is don't buy foundation without trying a sample. Every cosmetic store is going to let you try a sample. If you go to Sephora and you want to try a couple different foundations to see which one fits the best, get a couple of foundation samples. If you want to try a couple different samples from MAC, go to MAC and get a couple samples. I tried every single foundation there. I bought a few of them and mostly I just tried samples to see what stayed on my face the longest and what, and what felt the best on my skin. And I definitely prefer the Pro Longwear Foundation, but it's not for everybody. So just go get a couple samples and see what the best foundation is for you. My next favorite is the MAC Ariana Grande 2 Viva Glam Lip Gloss. I finally figured out what this lip gloss reminds me of. It was Nico by MAC. Nico was my favorite in high school, and this Ariana Grande Viva Glam Lip Gloss is my favorite now. I've really been on a lip gloss kick lately, and I saw someone wearing this one on Instagram, so I went out and grabbed it, and it looked nothing like that on me, but I still really like how it looks. The purple just kind of ends up looking like a nude shiny glass on my lips, and that is exactly what I was going for. My next favorites are going to be my eyeshadow brushes. These are the three brushes that I use when I'm doing my makeup. They are the MAC 224, the MAC 217, and the MAC 242. This brush is perfect for blending out your transition colors. So when you take your lightest shade and you just blend it out around into your crease and in the outer corner, this brush just really blends everything out and makes it look super airbrush, makes it look super blended and blown out. Then you're gonna go in with the MAC 217 with your next darker color. And you're just gonna put it tighter into the corner. This one is a little bit smaller. The 217 is a goat haired brush, so it actually holds a little bit more product, which is why this is really good to use for darker colors, because it holds onto it a little bit. If you, if you end up taking too much product, then it won't put it on quite as dark. And then my third favorite is the MAC 242. This is the perfect brush for putting any color over your lid. You just want to go in and sweep it out and then of course I always go back in with my 224 and blend everything out. So every day when I use my makeup I'm using these three brushes to put my eyeshadow on. My next favorite is the MAC 7's Lashes. These are my absolute favorite lashes and they look a little bit intimidating because of the little spiky points. They look like they're not going to look natural 
but when you put them on they look really natural. My favorite thing about these lashes is how easy they are to put on. The band is clear and really flexible so if you're not really good at putting on lashes these ones are so forgiving and they're so easy to put on. If you're not used to wearing lashes when you go to MAC to pick them up ask the girls to cut them for you. They'll try them on, they'll size them to your eyes and if anything needs to be cut off they'll cut it off for you so you don't even have to worry about it. When you come home they'll be the perfect length. And then my favorite more dramatic lashes are the velour lashes in the Wispies Sweet Nothings. They're actually the lashes that I'm wearing today. Really wispy and really fluffy and even though they're super thick and much more dramatic lash I still find that they do look natural and they don't look like you just kind of like stuck lashes on your face. So those are my favorite more dramatic lashes. And then for my last makeup favorite is the Urban Decay all nighter makeup setting spray and this really makes your makeup last if you ever find that your makeup doesn't look as good at the end of the day as it did when you first put it on you should try one of these sprays you do your whole makeup everything on your face and then you spray it on since I switched to using the Urban Decay all nighter I I've noticed a huge difference in my makeup lasting all day sometimes when you come home it just looks perfect then my absolute all-time favorite is the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. I started wearing this, I'm almost out, I really need some. <laughs> I started wearing this perfume forever ago and my mom and my sister both also wear it. It's my favorite perfume if you like a really fresh, kind of springish scent. And then I have two hair favorites. The Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil and the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer. I never used to use products in my hair because I always felt like they were going to make my hair greasy. So even after I washed my hair, I would blow dry it and straighten it just dry with no products in it. And then my hairstylist got me hooked on the hairdresser's invisible oil. And it makes such a difference. My hair is so much healthier and grows so much longer and feels so much softer than ever before. Uh, this stuff does not feel greasy at all and it protects your hair so that you won't have so much breakage when you're hot styling it. And then my number one lifetime favorite is my puppy. You will have seen him in some of my videos. This is Tyrone. Say hi Tyrone. He's an eight month old miniature pincher and he's my first pet. Well, I had a goldfish, but he's my first pet I've ever had. And he is my number one. And he's my number one favorite this and every other month ever. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you try any of the products I suggested, or if you have any favorites, please let me know what they are. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye!